welcome dear all and welcome to a mini outlook of what is happening with the astrological weather for August 2016. The month of the astrological sign of Leo the Lion. The Sun in Leo accenting Leo attributes within ourselves and our lives. So a little bit about Leo I think. Now Leo is a masculine sign and it's important to understand that when there's changes in one sign it affects us all in some way especially the signs that are associated directly to that specific sign. So with Leo, the associated signs, important to note if you're one of them, are as follows. Leo is the second fire sign, so it links and transfers energies easily with the other two, being Aries and Sagittarius. It is also the second of the fixed signs. So Leo also links energies easily with Taurus and Aquarius. So if you are any of these signs, it's important to keep the following in mind. The sun is the ruler of Leo, and Leo has rulership over the fifth house that brings us all pleasure, leisure, love affairs, uh, entertainments and games, children and the arts. Leo's colours are bold, gold, red, orange, hot, 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 and they are very much summer colours. The crystals or associated stones are the diamond, garnet, or the sunstone. And Leo's governing day is Sunday. If your sign is Leo, or your ascendant is Leo, or your moon is in the sign of Leo, you can be some or all of the following. Proud, determined, strong-willed, loyal, generous, ambitious, heroic, all-conquering, creative, very confident, daring, fiery, and some Leos can often be very bossy, intolerant, and self-centered as well. The me, 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 me energy sometimes can exude from Leos, but once Leos have made up their mind, that is it. There's no stopping them. You lions and lionesses, when you put your mind to something, you are very driven. However, these qualities are accentuated for all of us, even more so because the new moon on the 2nd of August is actually in Leo. And for you moon worshippers, not forgetting you and Aquarians, ahoy, the full moon is with a lunar eclipse making it extremely powerful and it's occurring in the sign of Aquarius. So at the 1st of August we have Venus, the love planet, ruler of Taurus and Virgo, in Leo till the 5th and then Venus moves into the next sign which is Virgo up until the 30th of August when it moves into Libra which is the sign that it rules and that is a very powerful time for love. And a quick word about Virgo, because there's a lot going on in Virgo in August. So, as I mentioned, love-filled Venus moves into Virgo on the 5th. With Mercury and Jupiter already there, this is a triple fired up combo that could make August a very powerful time for Virgoans. Moving on, 2nd of August, fired up, fire-powered Mars, God of War and Passion. The planet that gives us energy and get up and go. The ruler of Aries and Scorpio has an impact upon Sagittarians and other fire signs as well. As it moves into Sagi on the 2nd of August as well as affecting the signs that Mars rules. As I mentioned Scorpio as well as Aries. Now Mars brings to these signs and to all of us extra energy, desire to achieve and move things forward in our lives. The Sun, bold and beautiful, joins Venus in Virgo on the 22nd and you are likely to feel in top form. If you are right with your path and right in your energy, this will really support you to be even more focused about your goals and driven to achieving your desires and believing in yourself. Okay, that's it for now, folks. I'll get the September month update out to you in a few weeks in readiness for your month ahead. Do join me live on screen every week 
for your deeper insights into the astrological weather and the spiritual world. And that also allows you to get involved on the live show with texts, voicemails, or you can call in with your questions. In the meantime, here's Sky Silverstone wishing you all a fantastic